So, welcome to the Kitchen Scoundrel. Everybody in the Philippines loves adobo. And this is a fabulous version that just keeps me eating all this rice because of the very tasty flavors of this Chinoy adobo. And the magic ingredient is dried fish. For Chinoy adobo, you need one half kilo pork, one half daing na bisugo, eight pieces whole garlic cloves, bay leaf, one half star anise, and onions, one tablespoon garlic, one teaspoon pepper, cubed radish, pinch of five spice powder, two tablespoons oil, one half cup vinegar, two tablespoons soy sauce, one tablespoon patis, one cup stock, soft boiled eggs, and large cubes of tofu. Okay, so as I mentioned, magic ingredient, dried fish. So you can use any kind of white flesh dried fish and I am using common bisugo. Common bisugo is very tasty. It has lots of flavor. I just want to take out the head and taking out the bones. This will make our adobo super tasty. Let's start with some oil. So, oil is heated. Let's start with our tofu cubes. Okay, you need big cubes of tofu for this. Okay, we're gonna be browning this, get it to a nice uh, light gold. We want big cubes of tofu because this is a hearty part of our recipe. And we want the interior texture of the tofu, the soft, moist textures of the tofu to come out when we braise this dish. Here it is, we've got our tofu on a light gold. So, let's start with some garlic. As in any Filipino-style adobo, even this Filipino Chinese style of adobo uses a good and substantial amount of garlic. And ito na, pork belly. Okay. Whoop! Whoop! Ito na, lagay na natin yung aromatics natin. Half a star anise, bay leaf, okay? And then we're going to put whole cloves of garlic and then some onion. Ooh, sarap nito. We've got everything, almost everything in the pan. We will put our dried fish. Yeah, this thing is going to be packed with lots of flavor. Let's put our fish sauce, soy sauce, okay? That's very Chinese. Let's give it a couple of turns. And we put in our vinegar. We won't touch it first. We'll let the very acidic gases start dissipating and we just get the flavor of the vinegar into our adobo. Okay, when we start braising the adobo, we put in some stock. This is a superior stock made out of ham bone, chicken, and dried seafood. But you can use chicken stock. No big deal. A nice pinch of five spice powder, ngoyong, a large pinch of white pepper, black pepper, and let's put in our salt. Put in our radish. We're gonna let this braise for a while. So, while we want the pork to get tender and all the flavors to come in, let's braise it and let's cover it. And we wait for all those flavors to just come inside. Okay! Mukhang maganda na yung bracing nito. It's been a few minutes. Tapos nun, medyo natuyo na. Ayan, no? Ganda na ng kulay ng adobo natin. Para mas maganda ang kulay at mas lumabas yung mga lasa. Let's put all the flavors together. Nilagyan ko ng konti pan stock. Tapos, paiikutin pa natin. Wow! Handa na natin. Let's bring out the rice. As our last touch, pampasarap, lagay natin yung ating eggs para ma-absorb yung sauce ng ating adobong chinoy. Okay! So, this adobo's ready? Wow! Look at that sauce. Look at the color, the caramelized color of that sauce. Boy, this is going to be an explosion of flavors. Wow! That pork is tender. And let's get a piece. Put some sauce in there. Get a piece of the tofu and let's try it. Mmm! Adobong Chinoy from the Filipino Chinese community of the Philippines. 
And don't forget to subscribe to The Kitchen Scoundrel. This is your chef, Gene Gonzalez. Have a great day!